the call provision has the following characteristic it can be enforced at any point during the life of a callable bond the call option value decreases over the life of a callable bond it can be exercised when the market rate is greater than the coupon rate so let us try to look at the price versus interest risk first of a non option bond so it will look like this which has a positive convexity towards the origin now for a call for a callable bond at higher interest rate it will behave almost like an option free bond however at lower interest rate it will exhibit a negative convexity so this is for a callable bond and this is for an option free bond this is the price of the bond is reflected on the x axis and the interest rate is denoted on the y axis now the uh, the call the call provision cannot be enforced at any, at any point during the life of a callable bond usually there is some time after which the bond can be called and it can range from 3 to 4 to 5 years and a bond is called only when the market risk market interest rate decreases and hence the price of the bond increases then only the bond issuer can call the bond so it can be exercised when the market rate is lesser than the coupon rate not greater than it is lesser than the coupon rate the op the call option values decline over the life of a callable bond so you can see at lower interest rate the this difference the difference between the price on a on the on the graph of a for a option free bond and on the price corresponding to a callable bond this difference is known as the call option value so as the interest rate decreases this call option value increases however as the op interest rate increases this call option value declines because after some time there is no difference between a after some time when the interest rate increases there is no difference between a call option bond and a option free bond so the correct option is option b that the call option value declines over the life of a callable bond